we've been talking about the budget all morning, so why not continue on that topic of finances? And right now, we're going to help you spring clean your finances. And joining us, once again, a certified money coach, Lama Farad. Welcome Good back morning. to the show, Lama. <laughs> Thank you. So why is it important, first of all, to be organized with your finances? Well, you know how they say cluttered space is a cluttered mind. Well, the same applies to your money. You know, when you have financial papers all over the place, it's going to lead you to uh, making bad financial decisions because you just don't know where you stand. Yeah. Right? You don't know what bills are due or overdue. You don't know what contracts are up for renewal. So it's really important to be organized about it. Okay, so you have some very uh, key points, tips on how to get organized. So let's begin. And the first step you say is to have a dedicated money corner. Yeah, just have one spot in the house that's dedicated for your financial papers mm -hmm. so that when you're looking for a paper, you're not all over the place. <laughs> and that money corner doesn't have to be a whole room. It could be, uh, you know, like a drawer. Um, and the way I see it is you have to have a temporary storage where it could be as simple as a paper tray where you put your documents when you receive them in the mail and it's the documents basically that are going to need your attention in the next few days. Yeah. And then once you deal with them, you put them in a storage box and that's it. They filed. Okay. Your second tip is to minimize. I, you don't even want to look in my wallet right now because it can't <laughs> even close because I have too many receipts in there. Yeah. Well, that's why I, I recommend spending 10, 15 minutes a week in your money corner and emptying your wallet, going through your bills. But the way to really minimize the amount of paper is, of course, sign up for electronic statements yeah. for everything, your bills, your uh, tax receipts, everything. And the other thing is shred any papers that you already have. You know, like tax returns, we tend to hold on to those for Ever. <laughs> How long should we hold on to them? Seven years. So anything okay. before 2009, you can just discard. And okay. I'm going to emphasize the word shred, not put in the garbage or uh, in the recycling bin, just for identity fraud issues. What if you right? tear it up in a, in a hundred pieces? Yeah, I prefer shredding. Okay. <laughs> it's just it's more secure when it comes to preventing ID fraud. Okay. Um, so it's really important. And even your utility bills and statements, you can discard them after like a year. Okay. You know? Good advice. Okay, the next is to consolidate your bank accounts. Yeah, I see that often. You know, people have so many bank accounts dealing with many financial institutions. They have a million credit cards in there. Some of them you signed up for just because, you know, that day you were going to get 10% off your purchase, things like that. <laughs> That. So I really recommend going through your bank accounts. If anything doesn't serve a purpose, just close it. And especially when it comes to investments, you know, I see a lot of people have a small amount here, small amounts there. Yeah, how do you keep just track? Just consolidate them in yeah. one financial institution. Okay, and last but not least, calculate your net worth. Yeah, I mean, the reason I asked to calculate uh, the net worth, it's because the exercise itself is going to force you to get organized. Yeah. <laughs> so your net worth is really your financial weight. So how much do you weight today? Um, um, so How do you do that? So it's basically the total sum of everything that you have, you know, all your assets, minus everything that you owe, meaning your debt, your mortgages, your credit card. So, and it's a good idea to do it because it's going to force you to dig up the up-to-date balances for all these things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, doing it once a year is a good time, and then you can compare yourself to the number to what it was the year before to see your progress. Okay, well, some very yeah. good advice here today. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Lama Ferran.